So today we'll be adding some custom recipes to our Spigot plugins. Uh, as you can see, it shows up in the recipe book with our custom text and enchantments. We can click on it or we can actually just add the recipe ourselves into the crafting table here. And you'll see that we get the same results. Pull it out. It's a real pickaxe. You can use it however you want. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. So let's go ahead and check out how to do that. So we're just starting out with a brand new plugin here. Uh, we're going to do this all inside of the on enable class, but you could always make a new class and register things um, and expand on them. I'll get more into that as we go through the steps. Um, but the first step is we're going to make a new item stack. Uh, and this will be the result of the crafting recipe. So that we'll set that equal to new item, item stack. And that will be a material dot diamond pickaxe down here. And we'll set that for one. You could set this uh, for any amount. Uh, so here's the amount. Uh, so make sure you import this class. So you see it up here. The next step is we're going to set a cool name for it. So we'll have to grab the item meta. So item meta. Uh, meta equals result uh, dot get item meta and make sure we import uh, inventory meta item meta as well. Uh, then we'll set the display name. So we'll grab that meta that we just grabbed, uh, set the display name and we can use chat colors here as well. So chat color dot red, we'll give it a string of super work pick X like so. Uh, and the last thing we got to make sure that we set the result dot set item meta back to the meta that we changed to update it. Uh, and we also want to set some cool enchantments on this. So let's take our item again. So a result we'll add enchantment enchantment dot dig speed and we'll give it a uh, level five dig speed. And we'll also add another one for not dig speed, but durability. And we'll set that to level three. So this should be uh, efficiency five uh, on breaking three. So the next part is what confuses most people and it's called a namespaced key. So a namespaced key is just the key that Minecraft identifies this item as. So when you give yourself an item, you, you do slash give, you know, your name, and then you say Minecraft, um, I don't know, diamond pickaxe, right? So in this case, there is a namespace key called Minecraft, which is what uh, entity it belongs to. So it, it is a Minecraft item, followed by the namespace key for the item itself, which in this case is diamond pickaxe. Uh, for ours, though, we're going to have one that's already made for us. That's our plugin. So in my case, it will be um, crafting example. And then so this is my plugin. And then the namespace key is whatever we name it. In our case, it's going to be something super uh, work pick. OK, so let's go ahead and make this namespace key. So it's just like everything else. We'll do a namespace key. And we'll call it key and we'll set it equal to new namespace key and we'll give it the plugin. So in this case, because I'm doing this inside of this on enable and we're inside of this main class, I can just say the, the keyword this. If not, you're going to have to grab a reference of whatever your main class is. So um, you can pass that in as like a function. In, in your or as a uh, parameter in your constructor for whatever extra class you have. Um, I have touched on it in the past, so check out the other uh, tutorials if you want to, if you're confused by this, or uh, ask a question in my Discord or in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you. Um, so, continuing on, uh, the, the next parameter is the string for the key. So, in this case, is going to be super work pickaxe. And that's the end of that. So now we have our key. So the next thing to do is to create the recipe itself. So shaped recipe, and we'll call this recipe equals new 
shaped recipe again. And this is going to ask for the namespace key, which is just our variable key, and the, the result, which is our variable result. Um, so now technically we do have a recipe, but it doesn't have a shape yet. There's no way to craft it. Uh, so let's go ahead and add that shape. So we're going to say recipe dot shape, and it takes a string um, as the shape for it. So we're going to uh, we're going to do this because it'll make it easier to see what I'm talking about. But it's going to be three three parameters. So you can see this kind of makes the grid, right? So you, so you have xxx xxx and xxx. So here's your your three by three crafting grid, right? So we're going to say we want a diamond block here. So we're going to put a D for diamond block and another D. And then we, for these two, we don't want anything. So we're just going to put spaces here. Um, we want our diamond pickaxe in the middle. So I'm going to put P for pickaxe. And then these two last X's will be uh, O for obsidian blocks. And there we go. We have now set up our recipe. It knows what the shape is, but it also doesn't know what D, P, or O stands for here. So we have to tell it what, what those stand for. Um, so we're going to say recipe dot set ingredient. Uh, and that's going to take a character as the key. So don't use the double quotes like this. This is going to be a string. We want a character, which is just these single quotes. So we'll say D. So the character of D uh, is equal to material dot diamond block. So this line just tells the recipe that when we say D here, we need a diamond block in wherever a D shows up in these three strings in the shape. So we'll have to do that uh, recipe dot set ingredient, uh, and we'll have to do that for all of them. So we're gonna have P for material dot pickaxe for diamond pickaxe there and we're also going to have one more for obsidian uh, material dot obsidian just like that and the last thing to do is just to add this uh, recipe to the plugin uh, so the server knows about it so we'll say bucket dot add recipe and this is going to take a recipe as a parameter. So we'll just say recipe and we're done. That's it. You've added an entire recipe right there. You're going to have to make a new namespace key for every, uh, every single item here. So, uh, keep that in mind for the future. If you're adding a lot of recipes to your plugin, you can always make a class that handles all of this for you. So you're not filling up your on enable with a ton of different recipes. Uh, that way it'll be easier to manage in the future. If you guys are interested, I can make a video on a more advanced version of this where we actually make a manager class to manage a whole bunch of dis different recipes. Um, but otherwise, I hope this was informative and helped you out in some way. If it did, you can like and subscribe for more and leave a comment below let me, letting me know if you have any questions. Also, be sure to join my Discord below if you need any help or just to talk. And always uh, follow me on Twitter and Twitch as well.